time for Sunday brunch. Joining us this morning is Chef Yanni Sanchez from Bar Taquito. We're so glad to have you in studio with us. Thank you very so much for having us. I really appreciate it. Good morning. Love Bar Taquito. Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> and uh, today we're making arepas. Correct. What's an arepa? Well, arepa pretty much is in a traditional uh, Colombian. I don't want to say any, you know, a specific uh, country, but it's between uh, um, uh, Venezuela and Colombia. So and, from South America. Yeah, South okay. America, pretty yeah. much. And uh, Taquito, we want to honor it, this amazing, um, you know, kind of core cake, and substitute it with the uh, English muffin. That's why I just came here to invite you to go to the Bar Taquito, because the Arepa Benedict are outstanding. But uh, today, I want to teach you how make the Arepa. Yes. So let's start it, please, with the uh, core flour. It's pretty much like one cup of flour and then four ounces of melted butter. Gotta have that butter. Yep. <laughs> so for the viewers at home, uh, can you buy this in the store or some stores? Yes, it's super easy to find this uh, corn in any uh, store. Uh, if you want, I can recommend a brand. The brand can be um, Pain, which is P-A-N. It's uh, one of the uh, good ones, but uh, it's super easy to find it, yeah. Um, what I'm adding here are the, uh, the jolks and hands involved. We have to mix to obtain a nice um, homogeneous mix and make the, um, the little cakes. So we mix very well, very well. And for the other side, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, uh, this is an optional, is what I'm, what I'm been doing at Partaquito. But if you want, it's a filling that I've been adding into my arepa, which is the, uh, any kind of cheese that you have in home. I rec this, in this time, we are using um, manchego, mm -hmm. and this is the, uh, Garlic mojo. Garlic mojo pretty much is in a base of garlic, previously marinated with herbs and oils that I'm adding here. Mix it. Oh, so that's going to be nice For separate. And Once we have those two things ready, we are ready to start the little arepas, which, which is, is this one. So you make the, uh, your little cake, right? You put it in a, in a grill or in your flat top cook it, no in the oven, I recommend it to do it in your stuff, and then put the filling in your arepa. So you take your little dough that I have over here like this, you oh. put in the center the cheese filling, you close it like this, and if you see, you have your, the, already the arepa. So once we have that, we cook like a tortilla. That's why we bring us this idea to Bartaquito. You cook for um, like two minutes from each side, and then you have your arepa. The way that we built at my place at the restaurant at Bartaquito is this. We have uh, pork, pulled pork over here, which are the carnitas. I put it on top. You what's can use sauce, any what's filling. What's the sauce uh, on the carnitas? Well, pretty much carnitas is duck confit. That is, uh, um, you braise the pork in, on our fat, in their fat. And uh, I have the poached egg. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. You put the poached egg. Oh. And we have here, Chipotle hollandaise. Like that. And as a garnish, I finish it with a beautiful, nice uh, watermelon radish. So, Chef Yanni, tell us about some of the other uh, items you've got on the brunch menu at Bar Taquito. The beauty that we have over there, and uh, we cannot eat anything at brunch with a beautiful dice of uh, uh, mibosa. So we have the mibosas over there, so $15. Bottomless? We Bottomless, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I like mm. that. And, and what you else? have already the arepa. So uh -huh. it's super simple, you can make it home, 
and uh, in, you can substitute the pork if you want for chicken, uh, ground beef, name it. So the ideas, you, I give you the room, I put out some ideas here and you decide it. All right. Great, great, great. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank Bar you, Bar Taquito is located on the near west side. You can find more at bartaquito.com. Our thanks to Chef Yanni Sanchez. We'll be right back.